Hey, hi there, Gemini. Welcome to my channel. My name is Linda, and I'd like to thank you for tuning in to those energies and influences that are coming through for your weekly predictive reading for January 2020. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, and please only take those portions that resonate with you. These are general meanings. Okay, Gemini. Off camera, I've performed a protective blessing. I've meditated over and shuffled these cards just for you. Your first card, it's the general atmosphere. It's the basis and the issue of the matter. Queen of Pentacles, Gemini. Earth energy person, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Mercury. This can be a male or a female. Now this is a card of fertility and abundance. It's earth energy. This person is domestic. They're practical and capable and orderly. They're generous and benevolent. They respect money as a tool, but they do not worship it. They want tangible results from the money that they distribute or offer or loan you. This can be someone's mother they would be nurturing. It's harvest after much labor and prudent uses of resources. This person is protective and nurturing and resourceful. They are a homemaker, a housekeeper. They love gardens and growing things. Fertility is represented here. This is someone that loves animals and nature, and they're affectionate and caring, and they know how to manage money. This can indicate that help is going to be given of a practical nature. It could have to do with your material concerns. This is someone that teaches us that what is cherished must be cared for, and they put a high value on stability. It could be someone not showing how they say or what they how, showing or saying how they feel. It's also taking some time to consider all options before you proceed. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences. The Nine of Wands, Gemini. Someone's, um, this is Moon and Sagittarius, which is what I have. That's why I remember it so well. The Nine of Wands, this is someone being defensive. They're guarded and leery. They're, they have strength and determination, yet they're feeling tired because they've had to persevere. This is attainment and completion and reflection. It's the strength to overcome, overcome trouble. It's confronting difficulties, and yet you're now at the end of a cycle. There's strength in waiting and victory through courage and endurance. This is the pause in the struggle being prepared with strength and reserve. There's an eventual victory, but steady force must be applied. The Queen of Pentacles with the Nine of Wands, this is protecting your resources or defending your position. Your four, third card, this is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you're aware of. Four of Pentacles, Gemini, Earth Energy. This is a card of holding on protecting your boundaries, being comfortable, and being defensive. This is being cautious and conserving, trying to have balance. Could be a fixed attitude that may limit and block new opportunities. You're protecting your money. You're trying to save and be stable and cautious. You might be holding back, but your foundation is firm. This is someone that's holding on to their gold, then they risk nothing, nor do they gain anything. This can apply to anything someone holds dear, also being a miser with love and emotion, as well as money. So take a risk and get things moving again. You may be in danger of becoming stingy or holding on to too much to feelings and not letting go. The advice is to be generous in your wealth and spirit. Security and control are uppermost in your thoughts. Queen of Pentacles with the Four of Pentacles represents practical uh, abilities that create abundance. It can be comfort in the home and at work. And now your fourth card. It's the position of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. And being in the future position, this can be a surprise. The Four of Cups, Gemini. Water energy. You're taking some time to rest and relax. You're not noticing that magical offer hanging in the air. 
This is perhaps being awaiting for the right opportunity. This might be feeling discontent. You're contemplating joy and drifting and dreaming before getting back to that daily grind. Maybe feeling some indifference or dissatisfaction, boredom, could be daydreaming. You're feeling flat, flat and uninspired, maybe self-absorbed. You're taking time out to contemplate and meditate on your emotions. There may be something you're not interested in, or you're tired of a situation, and you lack emotional resources to proceed. But the answers and the inspiration you need are there for you to go on. Do not sink into apathy, because it blocks you from seeing other emotional opportunities. And pay close attention to your dreams. They are messages, especially the ones that you remember really well. And watch for signs and synchronicities, and do not get stuck in your withdrawal. Find ways to move forward. The Queen of Pentacles with the Four of Cups represents... Delays in getting your desires could be an opportunity or an offer to achieve your goals. And now your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what's unseen. It's unseen is because it's something that you're not sharing with others, yet you are consciously aware of this. The Page of Wands, Gemini. Fire energy. This can be a young person, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This can also be a communication or a message. It would bring passion. It's helpful information. It could also be the beginning of something, a project, a love affair, a new phase in someone's life. This can be a firm decision about a question. It's courage and beauty and a nature that's sudden in love or anger. It's a desire for power with enthusiasm. This can be a proclamation, a declaration, an announcement, even an invitation. It's a message of importance to your current project or situation. It usually affects work, although it may be of a social nature, and this information is positive. This is standing at the threshold of a newly inspired direction, and we always feel this page's influence when we're drawn to something that can accelerate our personal growth and enable us to be and express more of who we are. This is being intrigued and hopeful and inspired, trustworthy, a beginner. The Queen of Pentacles with the Page of Wands, this has taken an opportunity to send a nurturing message. The Nine of Wands with the Four of Pentacles can represent pressure in business, or clinging to something for the wrong reasons that will only weaken your defense then. Nine of Wands with the Four of Cups represents avoiding change. Nine of Wands with the Page of Wands is strong determination and passion. The Four of Pentacles with the Four of Cups. Now this is two fours in your reading, which represents you may need some sleep. And the Four of Pentacles with the Four of Cups represents holding on to play it safe. It's holding on to something out of sentimental value. Holding on emotionally and physically. Four of Pentacles with the Page of Wands. This is early stages of business. It's being defensive about what you are passionate about. Four of Cups with the Page of Wands. This is exploring if there is something else besides what is boring you at work or in business. And now here's your advice from the Oracle deck. Numerology by Michelle Buchanan. Gemini, you've got card number 56 representing relationship change. This card indicates a time when a relationship in your life is going through a period of change. This adjustment is inevitable and necessary for the natural progression of the relationship, and the wisdom and experience gained will be of great benefit to all involved. Whether a child is leaving home, a partnership or friendship has ended, or a loved one, friend, or work colleague, or a neighbor is going through a change, know that you are the other person new know that you and the other person are divinely guided and protected and have the strength to carry on that's the nine of wands there that's the strength to carry on this card can also indicate a positive relationship change such as a declaration of commitment for example a wedding or engagement it can also indicate the resolution of an ongoing problem or dispute in order to improve your current situation, you are being asked to adjust to and harmonize with the natural rhythm and cycles of your life, cycles that are leading you toward a change in relationship dynamics. 
During this period of transition, it's important to remember that as you grow and evolve, your relationship grows and evolves too. So be flexible and adaptable and know that all is well. There's an affirmation to this card and it is, my relationships grow and evolve for the greater good of all. Thanks you guys, Gemini. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.